Yo, how's everybody doing? It's the Hawking Regime here, and today coming at you guys with another Madden Player Creation tutorial video. Today we're doing Kelly Bryant of the Clemson Tigers, and normally on Mondays we do a high school player or a college freshman. Today doing Kelly Bryant for a couple reasons. First of all, he's a first year starter for Clemson, and the second reason is because of the fact that Clemson plays today in a college football playoff game on the 1st of January 2018, which is today against the Alabama Crimson Tide, the number one seeded Tigers against the Clemson Tide for the third year in a row in the college football playoff, except this time it'll be in the semifinal and not the actual final. So getting on into Kelly Bryant and what he's been able to contribute towards the, Ke the Clemson Tigers this year, to be honest with you, I wasn't very knowledgeable on what Clemson was going to do post Deshaun Watson. I kind of thought they would fall off and I was shocked the fact that they didn't. And Kelly Bryant didn't have incredible numbers in terms of passing the football. 13 touchdowns, 6 INTs, over 2,500 passing yards, 67% passing, completion percentage, and running the football was very effective, 646 yards and 11 touchdowns on the ground. So, in general, Clemson really didn't, obviously they, they lost a lot in Deshaun Watson and his leadership ability, but Kelly Bryant has been you know sitting back as a backup these past couple of years, didn't even realize he was a junior, so he's been around for a bit, he's had that experience, and it's really showed, you know, He's not making a ton of mistakes for Clemson. Their defense is playing lights out like it has been. They're ultra talented on offense with guys like Deion Kane and Hunter Renfro, Ray Ray McLeod. They got some playmakers out there for Kelly Bryant to utilize, and I think that makes things a lot easier. And a guy that's not really even a young quarterback could just maybe a guy who hasn't had as many starts as Deshaun Watson has in his career. And to succeed him, you know, it's all been pretty incredible, to be honest with you. I thought he was a guy that actually was putting up bigger numbers than what he was, but He's not making a ton of mistakes, and sometimes that's all you need, again, with a defense led by an NFL top prospect like Christian Wilkins on the defensive line for Clemson. But they really seem like they're very talented over there in Clemson. And Clemson, Alabama, just both those teams, it, it sort of makes sense why they continuously make the college football playoff because they're so talented in, in all phases of the game. You don't realize it, but you know they had Mike Williams last year. Obviously, Deshaun Watson as well. But the fact that they still had Deion Kane, Rayner and Cloud, behind a guy like Mike Williams just alone in the receiving position just shows you how talented they are at just every level. And the same thing goes with Alabama. So it's pretty incredible. We're really looking forward to a great game tonight. But getting on into Kelly Bryant and his actual player creation, I would be kind of shocked if he went out in the draft this year, especially with some of the players like Rosen, Darnold, Josh Allen expected to go. I don't really see it happening. He will kind of compare him to Cam Newton, which is incredible because Cam Newton just was such an unbelievable player in his college career. And it's hard to really compare anybody to Cam Newton given how much of a physical freak of nature he is and how big, tall, and strong he was. But Kelly Bryant, I guess, has a little bit of an appearance and look to him that reminds people of Cam Newton, and rightly so. You know, coming into this season, you know, basically like Cam Newton in a way that he wasn't really a starter beforehand and kind of has gone through some stuff. Like Cam obviously transferred from Florida, different for Kelly Bryant. He's been at Clemson, but hasn't gotten that chance to really start and really prove himself that now this year he's taking advantage of the opportunity definitely hasn't put up the numbers like a Cam Newton would in winning the Heisman but led his team to a great position to win a championship nonetheless so now getting into the actual player creation of Kelly Bryant right here I actually did include sleeveless sleeves you can change this to standard like I do right here I didn't really think the sleeveless represented him well enough although you can put it. I don't think it makes that big of a difference. I thought it looked fine without it to me. That's why I kind of just stuck with the standard, but you can do whatever. I do like the fact that thankfully in the game, they include those Nike vintage cleats because that's the only way you can kind of replicate a lot of these college players with the white cleat look, especially a team like Clemson and a guy like Kelly Bryant. I think this actually turned out really well. I liked what it, how it all shaped out to be, to be on screen with the tape wrists. I believe everything else is pretty normal, basic face mask. Uh, clear visor. I don't remember what face I chose, but it, it looks pretty close to me. I, I, the skin tone is always tough to get in in-game, and they don't have the, the hair, but you don't see the hair in the helmet, so that's kind of just what I rolled with. And then, again, the cleats, I feel like, really tie it all together. Uh, but getting on into the ratings for Kelly Bryant, it's hard to really create ratings for a guy like this, just because I feel like we haven't had a great dose of what he's done in college, but I, I kind of give him just medium okay stats all around across the board. I wasn't going to get him too low because he is a junior and he's probably going to be in the NFL relatively soon if he does continue to play well. And I don't know if he's going to be a starter or anything like that, but if he does make it to the NFL, 
and, and you know he continues to play well I, I, I kind of boost his stats a little bit to be honest with you they're in the high 70s low 80s for passing which is arguably pretty high but you know you always gonna have some fun with these guys you play with them in Madden so you can adjust the ratings as you you know want but that's just how I did it and that actually will be the conclusion of the video hopefully you guys enjoyed you know make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Madden player creation tutorial videos as well as just Madden 18 content in general gonna be starting up another franchise series relatively soon along with obviously the one I already have in the two old franchise squad that is an offline CFM. But once again, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And yep, thanks for watching.